All right, welcome back. So what we got going on right now is we're gonna do a little bit of Tyvek, Tyvek and demonstration. We're gonna go through all of the requirements that Tyvek requires. So we'll be looking at the installation instructions and going over all the details such as spacing of staples and where to staple, where not to staple, and kind of just the overcap, the overview of installing Tyvek. Okay, so the, the type of Tyvek we're going to use is the wrinkle wrap. Okay, it's the commercial grade uh, weather resistant barrier. Has the drainage, so the valleys, peaks and valleys, valleys for drainage. So you're not wanting to stretch it as much as you can. Goal is no, uh, no wrinkles and that sort of thing. So also there is a top and bottom to uh, Tyvek, so like right here. So make sure you're rolling out from right to left. Okay, if you're rolling out left to right, it's upside down. Okay. So I'm going to ask you is what kind of fasteners do we use? Tyvek. Uh, staples. Staples. Just staples, with, with only the, staples. With Tyvek wrap cap staples for yeah. Stinger. There we go. So just something like this. Past the cap, this is one, it's a Stinger, it's a brand, they make others. Just needs to have the cap, staple one through the cap. This one's an automatic feed, works great, most of the time, as long as you're stapling it correctly. Okay, something else, your substrate should have been inspected for nailing your shear walls. Critically important, better make sure that you've had your inspection beforehand, which we'll say, it's already been done, passed, with flying color, right? Okay, I'm gonna start right here about the middle at one of our transition strips, and I'm gonna go that way, and then you guys are gonna do the rest. Sounds good? Okay, so one of these is gonna help. Hold this up, flush it up on the bottom. Okay, and maybe somebody else. Mark, come on over. I gotta get on a ladder. And you want, I want it flush on the bottom. You just can hold it right there. Okay, you got two nails. Now go ahead and roll it out, Mark. I good? Uh, yeah. What we're looking for is right down the bottom, see how it can twist, turn, and all that sort of thing. So two nails up on the, or two staples up on the top allows me to pivot. So I'm just coming over, looking. So I got uh, something right here. I'm gonna have to pull that out. Wrinkles out. So, question: What's my spacing on my staples? Not there, but what do they what do they require? Eight inches apart. No closer than six inches, no further apart than 18 inches. Okay? Is that in all directions? So notice that once I go across the top, now I can start working wrinkles out. And notice, look, look at how I'm hitting. It's like this, so when you staple through, it pulls another staple out, or another cap out. Else. So I got another piece that needs to lap onto this one. What is my lap? Six inches to 
12 inches. Six to 12. Six to 12 inches? Is that what it says? Well, I also have, right in here, I got a window. Yes, six inches on the vertical, also six inches on the horizontal. Okay? When we lap a new piece over it, do we tape vertical seams? Yes. Yes. Yes, All with the Tyvek tape. What about a horizontal? So right up there, I got a horizontal seam. Six inches lapping on it, so it's shingling. So six inches, yes, you tape that as well. Okay. Oh, hell. Okay, now we got right around the window. How far from the window? Here we go. Any special requirements? No. Minimum of six inches? No. no. Specifically, is going to be the head. So here's my edge of my wing. So right up here on the head, from the top, you need to have nine inches. That's a requirement from their, the installation structure. Yeah. Pardon? For the window, cutting it out, what we're gonna do, some people, the minimum, bare minimum for residential is an I method. I'll show you an I method. That's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a better method. We're gonna do a pre-wrap, then a window, and then a post-wrap. I method. Minimum, they get wrapped in, okay? Sill, okay? Whatever, the industry is changing. It's going away from this method. It's gonna be this. Cut out, and then it gets a wrap going all the way around. Okay. And that is any questions on that? Another better method for the WRB system would be running a flashing on the bottom first, underneath here. Okay, like a Z flashing, and then peel and stick. Okay, whether it's for the flash or some other product or trace and then this laps over top of that it just helps seal up that bottom edge of the plywood from water splashing on it. Good? That's, that's tied up. So with the window, the, last, the next step is this gets wrapped up. We'll pre-wrap uh, pre it, install the window, flashing, uh, and then at the very end, this gets lapped over top of the window. Okay, so you'll see that process when we get to window install.
Like always, like any project like this, make sure you're using your ladders appropriately, your scissor lifts appropriately, tying off, using your baker scaffolds correctly. Make sure and always be safe. Think of safety first, get trained as needed.